The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. Once more into the breach, here we go, dear friends. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, we got the S&P up about four points. We've got the NASDAQ up about eight. Markets just kind of been bouncing around. Uh, we were higher early in the morning. Uh, really quick sell-off, really quick bounce back up to these levels. Uh, volume is, uh, you know, let's call it acceptable, but even lower than last week. My guess is we're going to have light volume all the way into Thursday's close. And the last thing that you want to be is short with very light volume. That is when market makers come out to play and they uh, prey on the easiest and weakest hands in the market, those generally being shorts. So anything really happening, uh, jumping up and down? You know, we got to 2366. Um, and everybody decided to hop on it. Just more of the same, which is uh, very narrow trading ranges and lighter volumes. No one wants to sell. No one wants to buy higher. So we have a Mexican standoff at the moment. And uh, we'll eventually get out of that. Of course, uh, um, when we look to uh, the uh, equity, or I mean the uh, commodity markets, very interesting uh, action in there. Gold was down a little bit lower this morning. Now it's just off three bucks. Crude is still the uh, the uh, king at 52.93 is the last tick I saw on oil. Up another 70 cents. Looks like 55.56 is the range for the top of this move in oil. So uh, we're about uh, what a little uh, almost two thirds through it. Got another third to go. Uh, I suspect, anyway, 55, 56 bucks, we'll see. Uh, and uh, other than that, uh, not a lot happening. Dollar index is off 18 cents at $100.90. But, you know, the talk about, uh, you know, we've, we we kind of came off, what, to 101.20 earlier in the morning. And eh, just not a lot happening. Um, a nice move, but again, the dollar is uh, much more moving like a dot-com stock than just about anything else. So what are we waiting for? Uh, for me, I'm waiting for the shorts to get uh, properly squozen to the three-day weekend, which starts Friday, if you had forgot about it. So what else is going on out here? Well, that's about it for the market. Light volumes, uh, far too many people short almost always into light volumes. Uh, they tend to have to give up first. If we don't get any volume and a push, that's where you would pull the trigger short. If we go up there with a volume, then you ride the bull for as long as he will take you. Other than that, it's a time to start the show as we normally do with a little bit of histoire. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is history. On this day in 1963, it, uh, events are set in motion that would ring through, and actually in my life, several times. 1963, the USS Thresher, an atomic submarine, otherwise known as nuclear-powered, nuclear-powered, sinks in the Atlantic Ocean, killing the entire crew, 129 sailors and civilians were lost when the sub unexpectedly plunged to the seafloor 300 miles off the coast of New England. Um, this sat and started a new program uh, in the sub business where they started to check them out just like aircraft. And for the most part, it was mostly effective. Uh, later on, Scorpion, another nuclear submarine, was lost on the 22nd of May, 1968. 
Uh, the echoes of it would revolve in my trading career when I started reading books like uh, The Wisdom of Crowds. Uh, the scorpion was lost. No one quite knew where it was. They looked for it a very long time. Uh, one of the uh, more brilliant scientists of that time said, uh, you know what? I believe in the wisdom of crowds. He got all the data he could together. He had the uh, about 60 different scientists bet on where the submarine would be uh, based on the data and various scenarios. Uh, in the end, they looked for the submarine for almost two years. Uh, and in the end, it was about 200 yards from where he predicted it would be by getting a lot of smart people together and having them all bet on the positions. Um, almost all of them were wrong, but when averaged, they were very, very right. So let's skip forward even another generation uh, to early 1982. What's going on then? A, uh, a commander in the Navy that is uh, just retired decides that he wants to find a big ship that sank early in the uh, 20th century. Uh, to do so, he needs money at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Society. He finds a benefactor in the Navy that he used to work for. But they say one thing, you've got to find two submarines. Uh, and film them. And you know what? That's what he does. But uh, in 1985, he has uh, about 60 days granted to him uh, on these ships to uh, photograph these two submarines. And tacitly, one of the admirals says, if you have any time left, you can go look for that ship you've been looking for. He had 10 days left over and went and found the Titanic. Uh, at uh, the first blush, most of the uh, uh, Navy was very upset because they didn't want anybody to know we had the technology to go down there and film and find. And uh, in the end, though, uh, his uh, cover story of looking for uh, the Titanic covered the fact that we had the ability to go down there and film in the mid-'80s and uh, make sure that... Uh, there was no uh, sabotage and or military action, as many people thought, especially on the Scorpion in 1982. Fast forward again into the 1990s. I'm working in special effects and television in Hollywood, standing on the QE2. Uh, in the center of it, where the uh, restaurant used to be, they made it a giant meeting hall. And a film director at the time decides to use that as the staging place next to a giant one-third scale model on a barge of the Titanic so he can film various things for his movie. And uh, I had about 40 customers of mine working on that inside the QE2. And of course, a lot of that uh, um, uh, was great press for our company um, about nine months later going public. And leaving me to uh, understand that our company would blow up soon, sell all my shares, and run to Florida. And uh, the rest is history. On this day in 1963, a variety of things set the course of action for me. We'll see you after the break. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software 
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Dave takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And we're typing in the den. Spent uh, about eight weeks on uh, the QE there in uh, Long Beach uh, during the making of that movie. And they had a bar in there called Winston Churchill Bar. And, of course, my boss was uh, came out a few times, and he loved sitting in a traditional English bar. And so we spend there, and my love of bass beer started during that week. I don't drink it as much as I used to, but uh, still one of the tastier beers, uh, especially on the QE. It is the QE haunted. <laughs> As I said, uh, many people have asked now. No, it is not haunted. Um, me, amazingly, they were afraid of terrorism. This is before, of course, 2001. They were very afraid that someone would get in it, start the engines, and drive it into downtown. So they made them pull the uh, boilers out of it, cut them all up, and get them off the ship. And then chain the thing if you ever go by it, you'll see it's kind of in its own little uh, thing and then chain it so it can't move. Um, a lot of weird stuff. That was one of those um, white elephants. Disney owned it for a while. They sold it to somebody else. I hear it's being sold to somebody else yet again. Uh, but no, I've gone down and through almost every part of that ship. Um, I stayed on it eight weeks during the production. And... Uh, Interesting thing. Anyway, um, Euro banks were behaving badly in the news uh, this morning. Didn't see a lot going on out here, but uh, kind of interesting. We give the U.S. banks a lot of grief here at DFNN, deservedly so. And uh, I'm of the opinion that they should be charged with a RICO crime uh, because it's an ongoing criminal conspiracy. Uh, secret recordings... Uh, basically show that the Bank of England was way knee-deep, neck-deep in the LIBOR fixing. Barclays' CEO is under investigation also today for trying to unmask a whistleblower that ratted him out for breaking the law. Um, so uh, eh, it's not just the U.S. banks. Every bank has their uh, black sheep. 
I just thought I'd pass that along. Thought it was interesting to see uh, them all kind of get hit over the weekend and just mourning uh, for their sins. As my grandmother always liked to say, your sins will find you out. Well, I think they're found out. Uh, it is a mad, mad, mad market and uh, one that uh, uh, kind of slow, actually. So as we watch what happens between now and the close, again, volumes haven't been that bad. What they have been bad at is anything before about 3.30. And I'm not exactly sure why we're getting these new uh, patterns. Uh, I'll look at uh, look for it again uh, during the break. I was trying to find it. Um, I kind of uh, vaguely watch financial infotainment TV. I've got a couple of them on. Uh, although I don't pay attention to them or turn the volume up. Uh, but uh, Fox Business News and uh, CNBC saw Centelli on there with uh, one of our TNF, uh, TFNN guests uh, from uh, Steve Rhodes' show. And uh, this is the guy that runs uh, Trim Tabs. Uh, he was on, and I hadn't looked at the data from him in the last couple of days, but there is a lot of uh, money actually coming into the market and he says it is moderately bullish. So uh, I'll probably take a look at that tonight, trying to find the actual clip because I wanted to play it on the show today, but uh, did not find it. Anyway, it is a mad, 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 mad market. So let's get to some movements out here. 52-week uh, low stocks out here. Amazingly enough, uh, dry ships went to 97 bucks uh, not uh, a few months ago. Now 58 cents. <laughs> Uh, it's never a dull moment, really, in the stock market when you look back. Uh, but again, uh, ready to, uh, I think, ready to meet uh, money heaven uh, anytime soon for dries. MNGA, which is Magnus Corporation. Don't know much about this stock. Um, another one looks like it's headed uh, for the piggy bank. OMED. Now, this one, a little bit more well-known stock but down significantly on huge volume, breaking through uh, significantly long-term lows. Now, let's get the profile on this one so I can say. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, okay, what do these guys do? Discover and develop cancer stem cells and immuno-oncology therapeutics. Okay, so... Uh, 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 see if there's anything else going on in this thing. Conversations. Does anybody actually have it? Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Looks like they had a trial that blew up in their faces. Okay. Nothing more to report other than a failure of one of their tests. Uh, down on huge volume. I don't know where any kind of low actually comes in on this one. Um, hang on just a second. Uh, what is the name of this thing? Onconomed Pharmaceuticals. Never heard of it before. Uh, but it's in there. Omed. I've seen the symbol. Never heard of the name. Let's take a look at some of the other stocks out here. Uh, Gartley Patterns. Uh, not many uh, popping up today on my noontime scan. The... Uh, one that's out here is kind of interesting. This is A. Schulman is the symbol on this one. S-H-L-M, of course, the ticker. Uh, kind of an interesting little move out here. Um, not a bad-looking Gartley uh, uh, stock, actually, or pattern. Uh, you had good X to A volume. Uh, my power law vector indicator number shows 1.3 up on the down uh, on the upside. The C to D out here ends up being just a 0.9. So you can look at uh, energy being off about 35% on the pullback. Now these folks, uh, what do they do? Doesn't even show what they do. Da, 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 what do they do? Don't know. Doesn't say. Doesn't say anything. I'd have to find out more. Summary. See out here. Da, da, da. Financial results for the end of the quarter doesn't ever uh, beat the forecasts. Yeah, six days ago. Special dividends. Now I'm going to have to figure out what these guys do. Anyway, the only good-looking uh, stock in the uh, 
in the market. Uh, let's go to uh, 52 week highs and see if we get any signal that these things are rolling over or big signs of reversals out here. Cardio net, we've been talking about this one uh, for a while, just going higher and higher. Uh, another big day in this one. Um, Again, no sign of weakness. These things just kind of act weak, and then the next day you wake up and they're two, three, uh, four percent uh, bang higher. Cardio net symbol is B E A T up and on significant volume. B L D P. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Ballard Power. Um, let's turn this uh, around here. Uh, making a new high. This is a. Uh, well, kind of the solyndra of the Bush administration. These energy, um, alternative energy stocks that are nothing but uh, easy ways for cash to go back. Two politicians, like Solyndra was. This one's back into its gap. We'll look at this when we come back a little bit. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And what do we have going up? Uh, S and P's up uh, three points, uh, twenty three uh, fifty nine. Uh, no juice up or down one point seven billion shares on the New York Consolidated Tape. So we will soldier forth and look at fifty two week highs out here and see if anything happened. Um, C N A T, Kinetis Pharmaceuticals, another 
uh, 52-week high. This uh, actually breaking the previous 23 million share high on December 27th. 23.4 million shares, uh, doing it with uh, 2.4 million shares today and closing back into the trading range. Uh, ideally, you really need this thing to probably come back to about 280 to buy it uh, with any kind of disc, uh, decent risk reward. Uh, GLT, Glutton Therapeutics, a lot of, uh, a lot of these uh, stocks in the biotech sector uh, spiked earlier in the day and then have pulled back into the trading range. September 22nd, on uh, GALT, got to 305 with about 7 million shares. Today, about 3.9 million shares so far. Looks like it's going to close under the previous high. It's going to do so with lighter volume by spiking to $3.68 today. Run those shorts. JDCom, this uh, uh, online, eh, what is it, kind of an Amazon-like thing in China. Uh, JD is the symbol, another 52-week high. Volume has been uh, tepid, but it's been tepid for weeks. So I don't see anything different in that. M-D-S-O, Media Data Solutions. Nice little pop on Friday with some decent volume, 2.3 million shares. Went to a slightly higher high today. Volume, eh, not all that exciting. Doesn't look like it's going to hold that high either. Corvo, the... Uh, Remains of Broadcom and RF Micro and many other symbols uh, that uh, I will soon forget. Had another 52-week high today. Uh, this is back into some uh, bigger gaps that go back when uh, everything, uh, uh, the wheels fell off the wax, goes back to, what is it, uh, July 30th of 2015. Came down on 10.3 million shares on a disastrous uh, day out here. Uh, and uh, we're just basically coming and filling those gaps back up into that uh, late July 2015 range. A lot of juice back then, and it's not as bad as you would think either. The energy on the last leg compared to the previous leg, when this thing made a pretty large uh, bottom down at $33.30 on February 11th last year. Um, not a bad looking ABC, but looks to me like it probably is a uh, the end of a big ABC. Your one to one would have taken you to 6244. Um, well, that's actually a smaller one there. Let's see if the bigger one 6480. We have one there 6480. And yeah, let's do this. Let's make our own. A. Make that one our B. And make that one our C. Okay, there we go. Much looking ABC out here. Uh, one to one ABC would take you to $79.78. So let's uh, call it 80 bucks. You've got a few gaps. In fact, that's right at the very bottom of where all these gaps finish up. Just a big move out here. And of course, every day the uh, war drums beat how many more iPhones are going to be sold. Uh, they are a big supplier to Apple and um, probably getting the cart before the horse, but this thing could run all the way until Apple actually ships their iPhone 8s. Uh, Tesla, the big popper out here today. Again, um, you've now got a kind of small three-gap play in this market or in the uh, in Tesla uh, for the short term. Uh, that means that your risk today is right back to 275 on this one and you know you've got these are both double gaps so do you get any more out of this i don't know but uh in fact let me check real quick let's see what how what people have been doing with this stuff uh, this stock is probably going to fall wheels are going to fall off the wagon when everybody quits shorting it and uh let me see what they've been doing here for the last few days tsla okay well doesn't look good. Um, Friday, 26% of the shares were short. Thursday, 26% of the shares short. Wednesday, 27% of the shares short. Uh, Tuesday, 20%, 19 on Monday. Uh, go back the week before, 25%, 23%, 19%, 21%, 26%. Um, eventually, 
people are going to quit shorting this thing. And I'm going to see some days in here where there's going to about, you know, the short percentage ends up being 10%. And we're going to have no volume. And that's where this thing is going to give up the ghost. Um, it's had some decent signals before that have kind of turned around on uh, much of the jawboning of the uh, promise a lot, deliver a little CEO. Um, in fact, uh, he's one of these guys that it, almost a Ferris Bueller kind of thing. He just, uh, he kind of gets away with it when no one else does. But uh, again, I uh, say that this is the I Omega of our generation of this uh, mid-2010 uh, uh, stock market. And uh, we'll find out whether I'm right or wrong. But, uh, well, now you've got 15 years of forward growth already priced in to a company. What can you say about that? Nothing. Just that one day you know that uh, reality will come back and set in. And uh, the higher this thing goes, the better off for me. I do not have a position in it, uh, and I will wait. Uh, but when this thing strikes, I don't think that there's going to be any way of uh, any of these guys getting their cash back. My guess is that when this thing does fail, it's going to fail in, in uh, blocks of 50 and 100 points on the downside. So, uh, again, if you're playing this thing, God help you if you're long this thing or short and you're not using an option to, to at least limit somewhat the damage this stock can do no matter which way you think it's going. Uh, da, 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 what else is going on out here? Oh, WDC, another 52-week high. This thing is now going back through the October 14th high. Uh, energy is much better. Everybody's saying that... Uh, this company is doing well. I suspect that uh, this is a stock that is uh, a hollow tree. Looks pretty good on the outside. The first big storm we're going to find out in one of these earnings is going to come out and show that this thing not making near the cash that these guys used to make. Uh, the question is when, but another 52-week high. C, or excuse me, XCRA. Take a look at this one. Nice gap up in this one. Nice vol. Let's see what they have to say about headlines. If we've got anything on that. You can give me a call 877-927-6648. What is this? XM. It's being acquired, huh? So they're not gonna be we're not gonna be able to beat this around any longer. Uh, capital management uh, company. So private uh, private takeover for 10% higher. Well, what can you say? Chart what perish. We'll be back after this. It's that time of the year again, and that means the spring Tiger Dollar Sale is back. TFNN has just announced that our best Tiger Dollar Sale of the year is back this week only. Right now, you can get up to a 50% bonus on whatever you spend on Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service and are a great way to add extra savings to any TFNN product. Tiger Dollars never expire and are fully transferable. Whether you're a current subscriber or plan on purchasing anything in the future, this is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. Remember, this sale ends Sunday and we're closed on Friday with the market, so don't delay. The spring Tiger Dollars sale with the potential to earn a 50% bonus on your purchase only comes around once a year, so don't let it pass you by. For all the details and to get your Tiger Dollars today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new market-safe core commodity CD from EverBank. This five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities, gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi-annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no 
low annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And we are back. Again, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. And it's kind of a quiet day. So if you have a question that might take a little time to get answered, this is a perfect day to give me a ring. And what else do we have going on here? I'm just checking my email. You can also email me at path at tfnn.com. Yahoo, uh, making another 52-week high. What can you say about that? No volume, but there hadn't been any volume for a while. And, of course, uh, just eventually this thing going off uh, into the sunset. And eh, what else can you say about that? Let's take a quick look at some of the other stocks. Uh, like Amazon, it was upgraded this morning. Did it really matter? Eh, probably not up on light volume. Again, um, what you would uh, want to see very bearish in this is this get back up to about 920 and then fail. You might have a little bit of a signal out here. I just don't see that much. Let's take a look at NFLX. Uh, let's see. Um, Saying gapped higher, of course, on earnings. It's kind of gone a little bit sideways out here. Dipped to 141.21 this morning, but right back into the kind of the uh, slightly higher trading range. Uh, set right after that gap on the 19th of January. My guess is that this and many of these other stocks up here may bounce around a little, but are probably aren't going anywhere uh, until they get their earnings date. And uh, da, 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 da. is there actually... Yeah, I don't see anything out here. Uh, let's me search by date. I'll have to... Uh, Work that out. No, nope. they changed it. Uh, okay. I wonder if I can just uh, do this. Google. Earnings. A M Z N. Uh, reporting date here on the NASDAQ. What do we have? Uh, okay, nothing here. And even on the Amazon site, doesn't have a date for when these guys. Well, uh, yeah, they do. Okay, April 17th for Netflix. April, okay, so we've got kind of what's going on here. Uh, and we've got AA after the bell tonight. I did not see that. We got to take a quick look. So it is the start of earnings season today. I'd been looking for these. Uh, Alcoa, 
just verify that. But, uh, yeah, could we start uh, earnings today? Normally, they're about five days before the actual rest of the market comes out with some fairly decent earnings. Let's see what else we have. Okay. Do I see anything? I don't see anything in this one. Alcoa. Let's take a closer look at this one. Um, bounced back on the 31st of March, did so with 5.2 million shares. Uh, Friday, 3.7 million shares. Today, just 2 million shares. So not a bad looking chart out here. Um, wouldn't go long. There's nothing really to hang your hat on. Nice bounce. She picked up some volume on the 31st. But uh, I wouldn't say that there's enough out here to actually hang your hat on. Um, well, that's it after the bell tonight. So uh, let's go back and look at this and see what else is on the bell on the uh, target for earnings tonight. Let's see if there's anything else for us. Uh, da, 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 Bank of Carolina. Okay. Uh, we've got a bunch of very small cap stocks coming out and have come out today and after the bell. But I don't think if I told you the name of any of these, you would know. Let's see what uh, tomorrow brings. 126 earnings and none of them you've heard of before. Uh, to, to Bank of the Ozarks. I know that there were a lot of people short that one. That's O-Z-R-K. Um, I don't know what the short interest on that now is. Let's draw this again here. Um Two dojis in a row out here after a little bounce after the pullback on March 27th. But I don't think you can make much of that one either. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Eastern Power. A lot of uh, Chinese stocks trading as ADRs, but nothing that you've ever heard of before. Any stop? Uh, Wow, nothing. Wow, I'm looking at this week. How many stocks are reporting and you've never heard of any of these names? This is a ton of stocks. Pure One Imports, aftermarket close on, on Wednesday. Take a quick look. See if there's anything out. Man, all these charts look exactly the same. You had a nice pullback. This one actually looked good. We talked about this one, I think, uh, a few days ago. Uh, bounced on good earnings the 15th of January. Went up to $9.67. Uh, the pullback has been on lighter and lighter volume. Came back, filled the gap with a low on March 21st at $6.39. And it's kind of drifted up here very slowly. Not a lot of volume. Um, so no rousing endorsement off this March 21st low. Uh, but uh, looks like a nice buy on chart alone uh, would not be bad that it's part of the retail sector. Makes me always scratch my head. You know, these things can get ugly in a heartbeat. So I don't know if there's anything else you can make out about that. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, maybe we got uh, any on Thursday that look exciting. Anybody reporting? Bearing. Levi Strauss, Japan. Oh, that's over there. Uh, nothing. Looks like uh, that's it until we get to next week. My guess is that we're going to start seeing a lot of earnings pop up. So when we go to April 17th, we start seeing... Kind of a little different story. Let's see out here. MTB Bank, uh, da, da, da. JB Hunt Transportation on the 17th. Let's take a quick look at that one. JBHT. And see if anything's going on there. Okay, so we get back. Tuesday really starts earnings in 
uh, Ernest. This one's had a nice day today, not a lot of volume. Uh, again, had a nice sharp move up, a nice pullback. We looked at this as an ABC on the way up. What is the bottom of that 76 bucks? Could be. You, know, you got an ABC in this one, 115, if things really took off. It's kind of interesting. We'll talk about this more when we get back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back. Uh, email, is it time for GBT? And... Uh, Wow, this is kind of interesting. A big sign of strength out here on, what is this, the, the 8th of March. We've come back down and filled about half of this with light volume. So I think you can make a uh, case that, uh, that uh, this is, well, Yeah, I mean, you probably would say yes with uh, just a a uh, stop, maybe uh, a buck below today's price. I don't see uh, much else on that. So you could. I don't like going in long uh, to a three-day weekend. I like to actually start uh, getting out for a little while. Oh, someone sent a uh, better earnings one. Mine is isn't around i had it uh, a nice program written to format all of them 
Well, let's take a look at here. Earnings whispers. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Vin sent me this one. Uh, you have to sign in. Okay. Somebody says that uh, AA does not come out after the bell, but I've got a couple of places that say that it does. Now, uh, go on to some bigger earnings. Uh, we get into the 17th, and the Goldman Sachs will be reporting. So we got a lot of financials, uh, what, about a week away. This will be on Tuesday. I've got before the bell. And I don't know if you can make a great deal out of this chart pattern. It's getting back into the trading range. Um, just kind of some sideways action. Of course, uh, before the bell at the same time, I show Bank of America. Also, you can't, I mean, you have the Bank of America's kind of a, very much ugly with this huge volume down day from March 21st with 200, almost 260 million shares came back into it and is kind of fading out. This one looks like the weakest of the sisters of financials. And uh, thanks for that link. I'll go through some of the rest of them. Um, what else is out here? Uh, Bank of America. Uh, China and Ceramics. Uh, Comerica is also that Tuesday. Eagle Financial Services. GNC Holdings. Ooh, that'll maybe be a bloodbath. Okay. Well, it looks like that. We've got uh, at least somewhere in the near future uh, Alcoa setting it off. And then a week from now, we really start to get the financials. Uh, Intuitive Surgical, which is always a, uh, a roller coaster after the bell. What is that? Uh, R is it I S R G, is it? R G. Intuitive Surgical. I haven't looked at this one for a while. This thing looks like it's almost ready to finish an AB, a big ABC up in this one. Um, 5.02, February 9th, 2016 uh, to October 10th. You do a nice retracement down to October 7th at 6.10. Uh, t -t 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 let's take a quick look at that expansion. Um, t -t 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 Is that the 5.02 one? I like that one better. Uh, you did a 51% retrace when we look at that. Let's zoom in here. Uh, and that would set up an ABC one-to-one to, -one to 835.95 intuitive surgical. So maybe you got 60 bucks to the upside, no risk reward here for trade. But I don't think I'd be short. Energy off this last December 7th low has been very good. 835 uh, is the one-to-one. -one. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.